Hey everybody, this is me, you're catching me on my downtime. Hope you're all having a good day. Um, I wanted to make a quick video because I had something on my mind, and that is the fact that disappointment is inevitable. The um, reason why I'm thinking about this is because there are some certain things that have happened recently as well as in the course of my lifetime that have been disappointing and, you know, a lot of people tend to complain about things but barely ever try to find a solution for it. And that's what makes disappointment even more um, difficult to deal with. Um, things that I've dealt with, I guess, would have to be um, people who misunderstand me. Uh, you know, that's so common, right? Like, everybody has been misunderstood at least once in their entire lifetimes. Um, so I know I'm going to see a full room of hands. <laughs> but... Um, uh, disappointment's going to happen, you know, absolutely, uh, and without a shadow of a doubt. Um, especially when you are being misunderstood by, you know, a person who's really important in your life, a friend, a family member, um, a colleague, a teacher, uh, a fellow peer, or fellow student. No matter, you know, where you are at in life, there is always going to be at least one person who misunderstands you. Like, you could say something like, um, I, um, I don't know, I'm cooking a bunch of corn on the barbecue, and the person is going to automatically look at you like, okay, well, you weren't specific about this, so did you shuck the corn? Uh, is, it in, is it in good um, condition or whatever? Just because you didn't say those things does not necessarily mean that you did not check all those things. So that's one example of being misunderstood. And it happens a lot with people, it happens a lot with communication, and yeah, it can be disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, I guess another thing that could be disappointing is wanting to be somewhere in life that you are not. Uh, let's say that you've reached a certain age, like, okay, for example, you know, you turned like 25 or 30 or 40, and you wanted to be in a specific spot in your life that you're not. Um, that could that could also be disappointing, but, um, you know, the, the way to look at that is that, you know, life is going to happen, obstacles are going to happen, they're going to come in your way, and they're definitely going to make themselves present. Um, I think that, you know, that's one of the things uh, that happens. I think it's one of the most important things that happens in a person's life is uh, overcoming obstacles. Um, when you're thrown any kind of obstacle and you think that you, you think to yourself, well, you know, right now I'm living in an apartment with like two other roommates who barely pay the rent and who barely do the grocery shopping and I take care of everything, you know, like maybe you're in that position and it could be disappointing. But if you really look at the situation much closer than you are at the time being, you will see that you are learning how to be responsible, not just for yourself, but to other people. And that could be practice for, say, if one day you might have a family, okay? It's always good to actually go through that disappointment at that time being because that's actually a growing phase. So it's not something that's actually harming you per se, even though it feels like it's harming you in the moment. Um, another example of disappointment in life situations could be that uh, you end up single and, you know, you're either not in a relationship or you were divorced or something, you know, really terrible happened there and you've had your heart broken, uh, things like that can happen and they can show themselves as disappointments to you. Um, the way I honestly see that uh, through my experience is that, you know, somebody may have left you in the past, but it does not necessarily mean that's because you're a horrible person or you've done something so terrible that it's inexcusable or unforgivable. I mean, if things that we do in life, although imperfect, are unacceptable, we would not still be here. We would not still be allowed life um, or to experience it. So, you know, if, if something really terrible had happened to you and you were, uh, and you were both misunderstood and also left at the altar, don't feel bad because, you know, things like that are going to happen. And when you look at those kind of situations closely, you're going to see that either A, that person misunderstood you, B, you misunderstood that person, or C, you misunderstood each other. 
and those are things that happen. Um, that that's one thing that happens commonly uh, between two people who are in any kind of relationship, whether you're just dating or you're married or anything like that. Um, and I think the reason why I bring this up is because uh, a lot of disappointment is inevitable, especially you know when you care for other people so much. Um, it's going to happen. <laughs> no matter what you do, no matter what you say, there are always going to be misunderstandings, communication problems, and there are also going to be small little issues that arise. Um, but you can either look at that as a major disappointment and a major thing that you want to walk away from, or you could deal with it. Either way, no matter how inevitable disappointment is, you still have a choice as to how you deal with it and why. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching me. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.